What's going on guys? Michael here with 3D Print Everything and I'm going to do a video talking about the Bamboo P1S and Bamboo line in particular. So this will be a video pretty much praising them. I really like them and how uh, and the effects that they've had on my company business and um, I'll start off by saying that this isn't sponsored by Bamboo. They haven't reached out to me. I haven't reached out to them. I just really like the printer and we're going to go into some of the things that we like about it. So first, the enclosure is awesome for the price range of this printer. The enclosure is well worth getting. Um, it'll definitely help with filaments like PETG, PETG carbon fiber. And here we've got some, uh, what is it, uh, uh, polycarbonate ABS mixture. Now. I just switched to this engineering grade plate, so if you're gonna if you're gonna catch that, I'll, I'll make it even clear. It does look like it's that biggest star is peeling up there. So I haven't put any glue down on this plate. I just switched to this engineering plate, and uh, you know, seeing that. Funny enough, I actually don't really need that print. I was just printing it um, as a supplement for that. We're just gonna add some nanopolymer and that will fix that print in the back. Um, so that's a really good glue right there. If you haven't ever tried this glue out exclusively, it'll stick to just about anything except for like nylon PA6 or Palm, uh, HDPE. I still quite haven't figured those out personally myself. But uh, so the enclosure is awesome. Engineering plate isn't too bad. So it, it's gonna come with a textured build plate this uh, PEI texture build plate and that's normally good. I had a specific client need a smooth build plate so this is an engineering grade um, textured and then this is what the smooth looks like so, so it'll give you a really nice smooth finish on the bottom if that matters to you um, which for certain clients it does that's why I had to buy them for this. Um, <clears throat> the sound. The sound is great. For how fast this guy is running for, for the speed and everything um, stock they're really not bad I went ahead and if you've seen in my other video other video and you can obviously tell in here we've added some sound deadening added some sound deadening anti-vibration feet that raised it up a little bit so I could put that sound deadening underneath it we also did a poop shoot and we have a muffler in the back here <clears throat> so that's cool some of the most impressive features though are honestly the filament changing so changing filament in this is the easiest it's ever been in the past, all the manual filament or all the automatic filament changing um, just really didn't work that well. It really, really didn't. So with this one, <clears throat> you just go into the screen, you go down here to feeding, and then you go to unload, and it'll just go over. So on the side there is a little lever, and it's going to come up to the front and cut that lever or hit that lever, and that leather that lever chops the filament flat. Perfectly. So you don't, once it comes out of the printer, <clears throat> you don't have that, uh, that heated up glob. That stays in the nozzle. And then you just push load and then put the new roll in. So all of your rolls coming out of uh, this printer here are going to have perfect cut ins and you can just wire them up and then stick them back in. There's never, I've never had a jam loading or unloading this machine. It's, it's been beautiful. Now I have jammed the machine running PLA at PETG temps, or not PETG, at polycarbonate temps. So PLA <laughs> will run for a while and certain PLAs will actually finish at 280 degrees on here. That's ridiculous. I didn't mean to do that, but I have jammed the nozzles before. All the nozzles are completely unjammable. And it wasn't even the nozzle that jammed. It actually had just had a little bit of heat creep and it jammed right above the nozzle. So I've been able to recover and repair all the nozzles, um, the only two that jammed, um, out of this and that is, that's awesome. Um, the self-leveling, self-calibration test is awesome. So you, you don't level it, there's no leveling adjustment. I haven't adjusted the level on any of these in the past. You know, I've got, I've got videos talking about how to level printers. You don't do that with this. It's awesome. You just, out of the box, you unbox it, you unscrew a couple of things, you plug it in, and it's going to do a self-test, and then it's good to go. Now, the self-test is an anti-vibration and frequency um, calibration. So, it'll run through for about 10-15 minutes all the noises it can make and vibrations it can make, and then try to self-cancel those out, like self-canceling headphones, but with electric motors. 
So what that does is it allows you to print faster and quieter. Um, so it's obviously not the quietest uh, phone or phone uh, printer in the world, but especially with these mods, it's now very very quiet. Um, you know, I'm not intentionally trying to talk loud here. I'm actually trying to talk on the softer side of things, and uh, you know, it, this stuff really absorbs a lot of those those high pitch frequencies that uh, you otherwise don't want to hear. Um, what else is awesome about them? The extruder, right out of the bat is a really nice designed extruder the nozzle is nice it's got dual coverage on your cooling fan you also have a uh, <clears throat> like a pla or tpu cooling fan that'll blow air across the bed i think the engineering one has one on the other side you've got a nice light that comes with it i put the sound deadening on the inside which kind of reflects the light a little bit better than the uh, than the matte surface the satin surface um, so i really like that um, the speed. Obviously, we haven't talked about the speed yet, but I mean, just look. Look at how fast that thing is. I mean, this thing is printing at a blazing speed, and that's not even turned up. I mean, this is, this is, uh, you can see, that's on standard. You can go into Sport and Ludicrous. Now, this is a, like, a 22% upgrade, and then the Ludicrous is, like, a 66% upgrade. Uh, is upgrade. Uh, step up in speed. So, not too bad. Um, I have done some things on Ludicrous. You know, maybe uh, I've got just a quick deadline and I see that there's 30, minute la 30 minutes less and I want it to be 20. You know, I have changed that with, with little degradation. There's some prints or some filaments that you just can't constantly go to Ludicrous. It does get a bit noisier on Ludicrous. Uh, these prints are all quality based, so I'm not going to change it for demonstration here. But um, these prints are going to be a part of a dinosaur. I mean, look at that. Like, where are the layer lines? Wow. Like, can you see any layer lines? Like, oh, I can just barely see it. So this is, I believe, a 0.12 layer height. And man, that is just fantastic. I am constantly, constantly impressed by the print quality of this thing. So print quality, speed, quietness. Um, upgrade in uh, well uh, more reliability when it comes to maintenance more reliability when it comes to prints coming off the printer so in short these printers have a much higher success rate than all other printers I've been a big proponent of the King Rune and that was my second most reliable printer up till these these bamboos right here these three have essentially replaced a fleet of about 15 if I had six in total that's probably all I need. Now, as far as my business model goes, um, we're able to use these guys and keep them running pretty much, you know, as often as I can push the buttons on them, as well as um, I've now got a uh, uh, someone else that I'm working with who uh, can fulfill orders on uh, a bunch of other bamboos. It looks like we might have a new partnership in the future here. Um, but yeah, this the, the bamboo otherwise is just an excellent printer um, for home use f oh it also comes with forgot to mention this a HEPA filter in the back so there's right inside there there's a filter so that that filter blows air across the motherboard so it filters the air before it goes across the motherboard so it's going to keep your motherboard from getting dusty um, faster which is great or faster it, it's going to mean that you you can literally run this thing for a very very long time um, without ever having to like clean your motherboard. On some of my old printers, especially ones that had exposed motherboards or that were just sucking air from underneath onto the motherboard, um, you know, after three to five years or more or being in a, in a you know, a, a high dust area like a shop or, or you know, put on the floor um, on carpet, you, you know, I wouldn't recommend putting printers on carpet. Um, because most of the time that's going to block the airflow to, to, the, to the motherboard, that causes issues. And then those motherboards overheat or, or uh, break or whatever. So um, before every print, it does a self-check, self-leveling. And I'm trying to think, is there anything else? The AMS, if you get it with the AMS, I, I, had, I had to buy all these without the AMS just because it wasn't available at the time. But the, the, the multicolor, it's going to work so much better than just about every other multicolor system I've ever used. It's, it's going to be more reliable than I think even the Palette Pro. So 
just in my opinion, these are excellent, excellent machines. Um, a lot of print shops have adopted it now, um, and it's well worth the, uh, the upgrade and investment. But anyways, guys, I can smell my pizza burning, so I'm going to end this. Have a good day. Let me know your thoughts.